It's been a stormy spring around here, and I had a meeting one afternoon. I was going to be able to be there just in the nick of time, and I'm driving down the windy back road, avoiding traffic, and bam, right in front of me, a tree had fallen across the road. There was no way I was getting around it, through it, over it, under it. It was stuck there solid. and. I hit this roadblock. I knew at that point for me to turn around, drive all the way back around, I was going to be late and I knew the meeting would be canceled and something was going to go wrong. Roadblocks happen in all of our lives and we're going to talk about roadblocks and what to do with them in this episode. Welcome to the Licensed to Live show, where professionals, doctors, champions, VIPs, attorneys, and those in public office discover strategies that help you restart and gain what is lost when you find yourself accused. If another has doubted your integrity, questioned your credentials, or caused your actions to come under scrutiny, you are in the right place. On the other hand, If you have never felt the knot in the pit of your stomach when legal papers are served, the heartbreak of disappointing your family when the lock clicks shut on handcuffs, or had to appear before a board of review, then be aware, the longer you serve, the more likely you are to find yourself under the microscope of those who judge. Prepare yourself for this uncomfortable possibility. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jarrett Patton. Welcome to this episode of License to Live. My name is Dr. Jared Patton, and I'm your host for our journey together today and every day you choose to listen to this show. If you or anyone you know has been dissed in their career, please invite them to join us along this journey. You know, disengaged, dissatisfied, disappointed. You are in the right place. Just go to your favorite podcast player and hit subscribe to the License to Live show. While you're there, please rate this episode and give me honest feedback so I make sure that I am keeping you up to date with the most information about career changes and life challenges. Yeah, and today we're going to be talking about roadblocks. That big old tree really, I thought was going to cause a life changing moment for me. Um, It certainly blocked my progress and made me late for a very important appointment that ultimately was canceled. And, you know, I had to reschedule it. So I thought everything was lost. But I'll tell you the rest of the story right after we finish thanking our sponsors. Mm, something smells good. Hey, this is Dr. Jarrett Patton. Do you need more positivity in your life? No matter what part of your life you want to transform, positive affirmations can help you achieve your goals. But sometimes making permanent changes can be difficult. Designed with you in mind, License to Live, daily affirmations to rebuild your life will inspire and equip you to become the best version of yourself. License to Live, daily affirmations to rebuild your life will set you on the path to changing your mindset, beliefs, speech, and ultimately your actions. You can change your life now by getting your copy at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, your finer book retails, or LicensedToLive.com. That's LicensedToLive.com. Hey guys, this is Janae Noonan, and I'm here with Dr. Jarrett on License to Live. Hit the subscribe, follow the journey, let's go. License to Live, the conference is going virtual. We will have a full virtual program and we have already confirmed a lot of speakers. Make sure you go into License to Live dot com and get your early bird special while you can still get it. 
Yeah, it seems like roadblocks are just a part of life. No matter how you look at the roadblocks, where they come from, why are they put in your way, these roadblocks can be devastating. Most oftentimes we take them to be something that's devastating or life altering or life changes. And a lot of times we make it too big for what it actually is. Now, had I had a chainsaw in my trunk, had I had some time that I could have, you know, saw this tree and cleared a path so that myself and everybody else could get there. But no, I'm not a lumberjack. I'm not even claiming to be one. I'll probably get hurt out there trying to do that stuff. But this roadblock stood in my path and there was nothing I could do except for turn around and try another route to my destination. Now, after the meeting was canceled and I knew that this wasn't going to go very good. My phone actually rang. And this was actually a new corporate client that wanted to review a program with me for a set of their employees that they wanted me to see. And this phone call that I was actually able to accept because I wasn't in another meeting changed life for the better. I actually secured a new client out of this a uh, corporate client. And you know what? We rescheduled the other meeting. Everything went well. Things moved on. So what I want you to understand from my story is that these roadblocks are really only detours. I don't want any of you fire starters out there to think that if a roadblock falls in your career path, if a roadblock falls in, in your life, I don't want you to sit there and start screaming, oh, woe is me. Oh, I'll never get around this. No. And it's OK. Take a deep breath and say, hey, this is a roadblock. It's temporarily there. But guess what? It's actually a detour. It's only a detour. Now, follow me on this now. Now, using this frame and story of a literal roadblock when I had to turn around with this tree that had fallen across the road, I knew that I wasn't going to proceed in the way that I thought I was going to proceed. So I took a deep breath and said, well, you know what? Sometimes things are placed in your path. You don't always know what they are and you don't know why they come. And that's because our brain thinks very linearly. Our paths that we take want to be the shortest distance in between two points. You want to get that straight line and accelerate and get there when you get there. And, and hopefully you get there in the, the shortest amount of time. But our paths of both life and the path of our career tend to be much more convoluted than that. They tend to be way more windy and turny. And sometimes they go back around to a place you've already been before, before you get that new destination. So when you're thinking about all of these things that get placed in your way, it could be, you know, if we're talking career job cuts, it could be, you know, a demotion. It could be, uh, you know, you didn't get that promotion that you thought you were going to get is a lot of things that could go on in here that take you off of that linear path. But, hey, I don't want you fire starters to worry about this. And we're going to take this first tip because it really is about enjoying the ride. I want you to enjoy the ride. So if you hit one of these roadblocks in life. Just say, OK, well, it's just going to be detour. It may take me a little bit longer to get there. It's going to take me in a route I didn't anticipate, but it's only a detour. So enjoy the ride as you're taking that path. Take a look around you. See the things that are out there. See the things that may be opening up for you. Hey, you might even find a shortcut to your new destination. Hey, you never know. I've, you know, my family always teases me and talks about, oh, here we go with those short, long cuts. And uh, hey, 
Sometimes on these detours, you might find a shortcut to another destination that you weren't even trying to go to. But that's the way life works out. These roadblocks are often put in your way as a benefit for you. But if you are closed minded to the world of possibilities, to the way things may open up, even in a way in which you did not anticipate, you need to be there. So it may be a short term loss, but it ultimately will end up in a long term win. But only if you approach it in the right way. You can't just say, hey, this tree's in front of my way. I'm going to jump over it and plow through it or do something that may set you back even further. No. All right. I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to look around me and I'm going to take this detour. And this detour may be better than the first route that I was anticipating. Listen to that. (laughs) So, yeah. It may be a short term loss. And if you continue to stay focused on a short term loss, then you're not going to win because there's a long term win waiting in the wings. These paths that we take in life are not for everybody. Not everyone walks the same road. And you know what? When we get to that destination, wherever it may be, and it may not be the destination you thought you were going to. You thought you were going to Peru, but maybe you end up in Chile. Okay, (laughs) it's okay, (laughs) but it's 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 all for you. Your blessings are your blessings. And I'm going to talk about the blessings that come out of these roadblocks right after we finish thanking our sponsor. The time is now to refresh your career. We help doctors, lawyers, executives, and VIPs refresh and restart. Dr. Jarrett's coaching helps you build confidence, gain more credibility, develop more leadership skills, and gain clarity in your career path. Want to climb the executive ladder or branch out on your own? We'll put your career in overdrive. Visit drjarrett.com and sign up for your free strategy session. I've had some great strategy sessions lately. I've really met some new people. I'm glad you guys are taking me up on this because I am able to meet new people, help people solve some problems, help people look at things in a way that they've never looked at before and get wins in their life, immediate wins. So, hey, just go to timewithdrjarrett.com, set up a strategy session. I'll be happy to talk with you. It's absolutely free. So before the break, I was talking about your blessings are for you. They are meant for you and not anyone else. And if you are keeping your eyes closed to the world of possibilities that occur when these roadblocks are put in your way, realize there are lots of things that come out of a detour. Timing is everything. I mean, in in my own example, hey, I could have been in that meeting. I never would have picked up my phone. And then if people didn't reach me right away, they might have just called the next person on their list. No big deal. Things happen like that sometimes. But for me, I said, well, hey, this thing isn't working out the way that I planned it. That's okay. I'm going to take this detour. And while I'm on this detour, I'm going to look around and see what's out there because there may be something better. There may be something that was destined for you on this detour. So don't fret. If you get a letdown, you don't match in the right place. You have a, a bad exam score. You know what? Your, 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 the bank that you work for closes. All of these things happen for a reason. So, yes, you may be stressed. There may be some short term pain that's associated with this. But wait, it's coming. The long term win is coming for you and nothing can stop it except yourself. If you are close to the fact that something new can occur. So remember, fire starters, roadblocks are simply detours. It's not a dead end street. It's not the end of the road. A roadblock is something that just takes you off of your intended course 
turns into a detour. That detour could be the best way for you to reach your destination. Keep your eyes open. Enjoy the ride. Know that timing is everything. And hey, there's a lot of things in this world that we cannot control. We can't control the inflation, the bad economy. We can't, you know, change the fact that hospitals are closing and banks are are, are <laughs> failing. <laughs> there are some things that are out of our control. We can't control when the next pandemic may hit. But hey, let's let somebody else worry about that. Let's worry about getting to our next destination, wherever that may be, even if it is one of those long cuts. So fire starters, reframe roadblocks into detours, and you're going to win so much more in your career and your life. Remember, fire starters, if you or anyone you know has been dissed, please invite them to join us along this journey. Simply go to your favorite podcast player and hit subscribe. And while you're there, rate this episode. Give me honest feedback so I keep making this show better. I love getting feedback from you guys. I love talking about the show. In fact, I recently just had a feature on Somi Docs uh, talking about podcasting and my tips for any of you guys that may want to start a podcast. Hey, you never know where this is going to go. And I am doing it all for you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. We've blown past 25,000 listeners and we are going to continue that journey. Shout out to all of those international listeners. I see you growing in France, in the UK, in Ireland, in Italy, in Spain. Uh, you guys are out there and I appreciate it. South Africa. I am naming all of you guys and all of you guys in those countries I've named. Tell someone else about this show. Let them listen to it and tell them how it has changed your life. And hey, that strategy session can come across the pond or anything. Reach out to me. I'll be looking forward to connecting with you. And until then, I'll see you next time. No matter how disheartening the moment of accusation sounds, how deep the pain of immobilization stabs, or how bleak your future looks, no one can take away your license to live. Keep Dr. Jarrett's expertise handy and unlock your future. Go to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or another podcast player and subscribe right now to Licensed to Live. See you next time.